A Hole in the Wall 1921 film. For a 1929 early talkie remake starring Edward G. Robinson and Claudette Colbert, see The Hole in the Wall. A Hole in the Wall is a 1921 American silent drama film produced and distributed by Metro Pictures and directed and co-produced by Maxwell Carger. The film starred Alice Lake and is based on a Broadway play, The Hole in the Wall by Fred Jackson. Plot. As described in a film magazine, Jean Oliver Lake is a young woman who has been wronged by a wealthy lady and seeks her revenge. She becomes a seeress posing as Madame Mysteria, a medium who has been killed in an accident. Through a band of crooks, she determines to avenge herself on Mrs. Ramsey Lester, who was instrumental in sending Jean to prison. Gordon Grant Forrest, a reporter, comes to the medium's parlor with a woman who is posing as his aunt. He is attempting to solve the kidnapping of Mrs. Ramsey's young grandchild, and while he is there the police raid the place and arrest the crooks. The leader of the gang escape with the baby, however, and demands the release of the gang before he will give the child up. He also asks that Mrs. Ramsey acknowledge that she lied and that Jean is innocent of any wrongdoing, which she does. The film ends with a happy ending as Jean and Gordon are reunited. The film's title is based upon a scene in which the medium, while in a trance, tells the reporter's lady friend some amazing truths, and these truths are graphically presented by having the walls of the parlor crumble and figures crying for recognition appear in the distance. Cast Alice Lake as Jean Oliver Alan Forrest as Gordon Grant Frank Brownlee as Limpy Jim Charles Clary as The Fox William Duvall as Degon Kate Lester as Mrs. Ramsey Carl Gerard as Donald Ramsey John Insey as Inspector of Police Claire Dubray as Cara Thompson Preservation Status This film is now considered a lost film